Hey guys, Cameron from Anime Chat Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Promised Neverland. I hope you enjoy. The Promised Neverland is a tale of two orphans who discover a terrible secret about the orphanage they've lived in their whole lives. On the surface, the story is just about the main characters trying to escape with the rest of their family, but there is a deeper level to the story, with twists and turns throughout the short 12 episode series. Some you can see coming, others just blindside you without warning not necessarily impacting the overall story, but definitely giving you clarification into characters' motives and personalities. A lot of these twists come without warning and seemingly out of nowhere, which can interrupt the flow of the episodes, but ultimately pushes the story at a fast pace. The story starts off in what seems to be the happiest orphanage in the world, where kids under the age of 12 seem to be having the time of their lives, enjoying lovely meals together, running around an open forest and field, playing tag, and learning with books and exams. They seem to have everything they could ask for, all provided by their loving mother. Some of the children even get adopted and sent away to loving homes, or so they believe. Emma and Norman, two of the eldest and brightest children at the orphanage, accidentally discover the horrible truth behind the real purpose of the place they've been living their whole lives. This all happens towards the end of the first episode, when they try giving one of the children that are being adopted their stuffed rabbit back. However, the two discover the dead body of their friend in the back of a truck they thought would be taking them away to their new home. This awful sight is then only made worse by the appearance of monsters, who speak to their mother about harvesting the high-scoring children and reveal that the children are living on a farm and that they are the livestock. Understandably distraught by having their entire world flipped upside down, Emma and Norman decide that they're going to escape the orphanage with the other children so that no more of their family have to be eaten. The rest of the series that follows is all about them trying to set up a plan to escape with twists and turns revealed throughout the series. This all makes for an engaging anime that keeps you watching till the very end, so don't expect to have all your questions about the world answered by the final episode. I made that mistake. Don't be like me. The world that they do build is a very mysterious one, and you can almost feel the need to escape the orphanage to see it, which I think is a compliment to the storytelling and the way pieces of information are revealed throughout the anime, giving the outside world this grandiose sense of freedom and longing to be in it. I believe this is only enhanced by the sense of entrapment that the orphanage represents for the children, as it goes from the free open fields to a caged off farm. Nothing about the actual orphanage changes, but the feelings the children have towards it is well represented in their change of attitude, giving you that sense of imprisonment that they are feeling. The main characters in the series are Emma and Norman, along with Ray, who is the same age and level of intelligence. Between the three of them, they are more than capable of coming up with a plan. However, their mother is also very smart and has the upper hand against them both mentally and physically. This makes her a challenging opponent in terms of smarts and athletics. It is also important to keep in mind that they are still children, none of which are over the age of 12. Despite these disadvantages, they use each other's strengths. Emma's athletics, Norman's tactical thinking, and Ray's forward thinking to come up with the best plan they can. Things get out of hand when several new elements get thrown in the mix, but the trio improve and adapt their plan to fit the new situations brought upon them. Doing all this while trying to maintain the facade that they don't know the orphanage's actual purpose. Each character has well-defined motives and an interesting personality that justifies those motives. However, the only issue I have with the characters is the terrible face proportions. Good lord, this infuriated me to watch. Every time one of those dopey looking faces was on my screen, it made me unreasonably angry. I can kind of understand what they were trying to go for, with the proportions being for young children. However, it just... the characters look dopey and stupid. A lot of the time, it's only the younger children 
but when it's the main character, it just makes it stand out even more and almost looks like it's a meme. Don't get me wrong, I like a good meme as much as the next guy. Just like the great memes we post in our Discord that you should definitely check out in the link in the description below. However, I don't want to look at a meme while I'm watching an anime. I'll do that afterwards in our Discord. Click on the link in the description below. That's really the only issue I have with the characters though. For the most part, the animation stands out as a good benchmark for how current animation quality is and should be, with the characters being well defined against the background, really drawing your attention to them when they are on screen, which works as they are the main focus of the series. This along with the backgrounds itself having a similar amount of detail to that of an actual photograph really is what the benchmark of current animation should be in a short 12 episode series. The soundtrack did a good job of setting the tone and mood of each scene, as a good soundtrack should, but it wasn't anything that overly stood out. The opening however stands out as one that will be remembered and probably become a classic anime opening. There are two closing songs though, with it changing to the second closing theme once the series ramps into overdrive with its intensity, both fitting well as closings and being memorable songs. The series as a whole tells a story of overcoming adversity and how working together you can overcome anything. With all that said, I'm giving The Promised Neverland an A. This was a roller coaster of an anime and I can't wait for the next season so that I can learn more about the outside world. I just hope that there are less dopey looking faces in the next season. Thanks for watching the video guys. I would be honored if you liked our video and subscribed to our channel as it really helps us out. And hopefully we see you all again in the next video. See ya.